All right, case 13. I'm going to take this one. So from here you can see in the dermis you have these kind of cystic looking collections. Well, they may or may not connect to the surface in another cut, but when you go on higher power you can see they're filled with these kind of bright eosinophilic inclusions that are slowly coming into focus. <laughs> slowly getting there. And they have a really nice name. Yeah, there they are. So the only one thing that's going to be looks like the Henderson Patterson body, though. Well, that's some Absolutely. Henderson Patterson bodies, molluscan bodies, these pink, kind of uniform, granular looking aggregates of viral particle that are expanding the cytoplasm of the keratinocytes and eventually getting sloughed off into the, uh, into the, the, keratin uh, either on the surface of the skin that would be the stratum corneum or here the cyst contents and I love that you pointed out these look like a cyst right but remember that if you have a cup shaped thing like molluscum is an umbilicated papule with a kind of cup shaped central depression when they get really kind of cup shaped they can be a cystic and it's just a matter of if you cut get a section right through the center of one of those papules it's going to look like a cup shaped invagination of the epidermis but if you cut just to the side of it a little bit it's going to look like one or more cysts in the dermis if we do deeper sections these will connect to the surface so i often see molluscum with a cystic kind of pattern and i think that confuses people at first they don't think that about molluscum having this change sometimes also this pattern can happen where you've got a cyst with very little of the molluscum change in the wall of the cyst, but nice Henderson-Patterson bodies in the cyst contents, and sometimes they are very sparse. So that's good to think about. Here you can see, look, like one subtle molluscum change there. Also, on depending on where your section is, you might see just the subtlest hint of keratinocytes that are getting large and kind of an expanded pink cytoplasm. What Dr. Hafiz Dewan, one of my mentors from Houston, he's at, at currently at Baylor, um, College of Medicine, and he um, says that these are the pregnant seahorse sign. They're like the, the, the male seahorse with that large pouch, or I guess the female seahorse that's pregnant either way, but the seahorse with the distended belly, and he always comes up with these fun names for uh, different microscopic signs in derm path, um, and he's hilarious. Really, really wonderful educator and really funny uh, comedian, in my opinion. But I like his point because the, the, the nuclei and uh, the cell itself of the keratinocyte in, in molluscum is way bigger. Look at these guys here, or girls, I don't know which. And then look at normal epidermis here. People get, we see the Henderson-Patterson bodies and then we think of nothing else because it's benign and beautiful, even though it can be pretty morbid and frustrating for patients and their family members um, who have had to deal with molluscum because it, it can take a long time to go away, as you guys all know. But a lot of times we don't really focus on how very different the cytology is of these keratinocytes. And the reason I point this out is I saw a case a long time ago where the it was a, a kid and the cells were big and someone had thought they were worried about squamous cell carcinoma, even though they said it's crazy because this person's a teenager, it doesn't make sense, but these are atypical keratinocytes. And then when I saw the case, I thought it somehow reminds me of molluscum and we got the block and cut deeper and Henderson Patterson bodies showed up. But it without seeing the Henderson Patterson bodies, the keratinocytes in contrast to normal were atypical. So I think that is a normal, totally normal feature of molluscum. In fact, it's a, it's a feature, not a bug, so to speak. So keep that in mind that the keratinocytes can get really big and expand it. Oh, even better. Look at that view there. Those are the, how big and large those keratinocytes are that are virally infected. Virally infected keratinocytes from lots of different viruses, they get big. They look weird. Even in Veruca, we often see kind of atypical looking keratinocytes in Veruca. I feel like often I see that. And that can be a problem in sun damaged skin, so uh, where it can make it mimic squamous cell carcinoma. Anyway, cystic molluscum uh, with Henderson Batterson bodies, and I've got more uh, videos and posts about that online, so you can check it out. And also remember that molluscum can be very inflamed, especially when it ruptures, and the inflammation can be so dense that it mimics lymphoma. I've seen cases where we actually, you know, thought about it and, and started working it up for lymphoma, and then on the deeper cuts, when we did the immunostains, there was molluscum body. So I've seen it so robust as the mimic uh, lymphoma, it, it can really be a tricky diagnosis. So if you're thinking about it, cut deepers looking for molluscum.